Hey there, I'm Lauren Sisler and I am with Lane Schrantz here. As we get ready, we're counting down to the 2022 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb going down a historic year. It's the 100th running and for Lane Schrantz, well, it is the farewell tour as he runs his 29th race. And I imagine, Lane, this has to be bittersweet for you as you get ready for retirement. Yeah, retirement is bittersweet. There's nothing like racing that mountain. I will, I will always miss uh, being in the car, going as fast as I can up, up Pikes Peak. But it's also uh, a team sport. And the reason we race Pikes Peak is as much about the team and the camaraderie and the fun that we have together as it is me driving the car. Uh, so we're gonna miss that as well. But it's, we're gonna make it a special year for my final one. And I wanna talk about the family legacy. Your dad ran his first race in year number 50 of this race. You were nine months old, so obviously a little baby and now your final race, year 29, 100th. So again, a historic race, but a family legacy. What do you hope to leave behind? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Of course, I'm proud of my dad. The reason I race Pikes Peak is because of my dad. I, I've grown up on the mountain, been on the mountain for the race all 50 years of my life. And it's just pretty amazing that his first was the 50th. My last will be the 100th, that uh, between the two of us covering 50 years, a half a century of 100 races of Pikes Peak. You've obviously got a lot of support behind you with your family, obviously your sponsors as well. Year number two, Mayhem Nation sponsoring you. You've got Valvoline behind you again. So with four wins in the books, 10 second place finishes, what does it mean to have these guys behind you supporting you as you hope to go out on a high note? Yeah, we couldn't do it without our sponsors. We're so thankful for them. We're so grateful for Rich Froning and the Mayhem Nation. They continue to win in the CrossFit Games. Mayhem Freedom won again uh, last year. I'm sure they're favorites this year. Uh, it's awesome to have Valvoline back with us. That's been a great partnership for eight years, and we're, we're excited to represent them well, try to go for the win. Unfortunately, we have more competition we've ever had in our division. We have the largest division on Pikes Peak, and this year probably the most competitive. Five or six different cars have, a, have an opportunity to win the race, so uh, a first place is not going to be easy in 2022. Wow. It's going to be fun to watch, though. Super excited. Wishing you the best of luck. Pikes Peak International Hill Climb happening in just a few months, June 26th. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to cheer you on.